up guys hope you guys are doing well today i have a beginner session for you guys that includes a ball handling warm-up a layup breakdown and repping and then footwork breakdown and repping for a catch and shoot off the curl hope you guys are ready to put in some work let's get started beginner warm-up 20 waist wraps each way 10 figure eight wraps each way 10 waist wraps into figure eight wraps 100 right hand dribbles 100 left hand dribbles, 100 right hand V dribbles, 100 left hand V dribbles, 100 crossovers, 50 V dribble crossovers. We are starting with 20 ball wraps around our waist. Try to go as quickly as you can by using soft hands and your fingertips to absorb the ball. This drill helps us with hand speed and getting a feel for the basketball. The more feel we have for the basketball, the better our control over the ball becomes, which equals better handles. Now we have 20 ball wraps around our waist going in the reverse direction. Again, we are going as quickly as we can. We are now going into a figure eight ball wrap, doing 10 wraps. Around both legs equals one rep. Still going as quickly as we can and absorbing the ball in our hands. You wanna make sure your hips are engaged and our chest and eyes are up. This is helping us to continue to develop touch and feel for the basketball as well as getting used to sitting in a low stance. Now we're going 10 reverse figure eights. Chest is up and hips are engaged. Here we're going three wraps around our waist immediately followed by a figure eight wrap. Three waist wraps and a figure eight equals one rep. We are doing 10 reps of these. This is helping with our touch for the ball again, as well as teaching us how to change our height and drop quickly into a low and athletic stance. We are going right into 100 right hand pounds. We are punching the ball down by extending our elbow. Our fingers are spread and we are absorbing the ball on the way back up. Make sure we are not slapping the ball. After doing our 100 right hand pounds, we are going into 100 left hand pounds, punching that ball down and extending our elbow. Eyes are up and our stance is nice and athletic. Now we have 100 right hand V dribbles. A V dribble is like a one handed crossover. We are pushing the ball across our body's midline and then pulling it back slightly outside of our body's frame. Same thing as the right hand V dribble, this time with our left, 100 of them, pushing and pulling the basketball. After doing 100 V dribbles with our left, we are getting into 100 crossovers. Our hand is on the side of the ball to help snap the ball crisply from side to side. We are still in an athletic stance with our feet wide and our hips engaged and low. Now we are going to add the last two moves together, our V dribble into our crossover. Find your rhythm with this combination. After performing a V dribble, quickly and sharply snap the ball to the other hand and perform another V dribble crossover. Each V dribble crossover equals one rep. We are doing 50 of these. After you perform 50 V dribble crossovers, this is the end of our warm up. Now we're going to get into layup breakdown and footwork. Now we're going to get into our layup breakdown. We want to make five to 10 of each on both the right and the left side. First one we're going to do is bunnies with one hand. Then we're going to plant our inside foot for a layup. Then we're going to add our two steps. Then we're going to add our dribble step into our layup. And lastly, we are going to do a full speed layup. Our layup breakdown starts with finishing with one hand underneath the hoop. Try to make 10 or five of these. Use the backboard to help your shot go in. Aim for just slightly inside the corner of the box. Next, we add a planted foot. We want to plant our inside foot. So on our right side, it will be our left foot. This simulates our last step for a regular layup. We push off of our right foot and drive our knee up as we jump and shoot. We want our momentum to be going upward.
Now we add our last two steps for our regular layup. When doing a layup, we are allowed to take two steps after our last dribble, and that is what we're working on here. When doing a regular layup, meaning we take two steps and jump off of our inside foot, we want to take our first step after we pick up the ball with our outside foot, and then step with our inside foot. After planting our inside foot, we drive our knee up and finish. So on the right side, we are going to step right, left. Now we want to add our dribble step. A dribble step is the step we take while the ball hits the ground. Usually, our opposite foot will hit the ground at the same time the ball does. Meaning, if we are dribbling with our right hand, when the ball hits the ground, our left foot should also be hitting the ground. This is important because it helps with timing and footwork. So after you take a dribble step with your left foot, pick up the ball and take our two steps, right, left, jump, and finish. After we have completed the breakdown, now we get into full speed layups. Start at the elbow or the three point line and take one or two dribbles in for a layup, timing the dribble step into the layup. Try not to swing the ball side to side when taking your final two steps because we don't want to expose the ball to our defender that is riding our inside hip. Repeat this until you make five to 10 full speed layups. Now we are going to the left side, starting with our one hand finishes underneath the hoop. Again, use the backboard to help your shot go in. Adding our planted foot now, we want to plant our inside foot, so on the left side it will be our right foot. This simulates our last step for our regular layup. Push off of our left foot and drive our left knee up as we jump off our right foot and shoot. Now it's time to add the last two steps of our layup. We want to step outside and then inside. So on the left side, we want to step left, then right. Drive our left knee up and jump off our right foot and finish. Adding the dribble step now. It is important to note that when doing a left hand layup, we must also dribble with our left hand. If we are dribbling with our left hand, that means our dribble step happens when our right foot hits the ground. After we perform our dribble step, pick up the ball and take your last two steps into a layup. Now it's time for full speed layups. Try not to swing the ball side to side when taking your last two steps because we do not want to expose the ball to our defender who is riding our inside hip. Once you have made your 5 to 10 full speed layups on the left side, we are done with our layup work for the day. Grab some water and hop back on to get into shooting. Now we are going to get into our shooting for the day. We are going to work off a straight cut catch and shoot. To begin, let's walk through our form shooting series first. To start our form shooting series, we are going to start close to the basket and shoot one handed form shots. Make sure you still use your lower body, bending your knees and getting your hips engaged. Once you set the ball where you want to shoot it from, with your shooting hand underneath the ball. 
Remove your guide hand. You can either drop your hand to the side or place it behind your back. I suggest dropping your arm to the side rather than going behind your back because the act of having your arm behind your back might cause your body to turn and we do not want any extra turn on our shot. Now we want to drive our elbow up and flick our wrist. Hold your follow through. Now we will add a ghost guide hand. This is the same as the one hand form shooting that we just did, but the only difference is we will not drop our guide hand and instead have it floating next to the ball with separation between. We are doing this because this allows us to focus on using our one hand to shoot our shot and at the same time it adds muscle memory on keeping our guide hand up when we shoot. If we drop or pull our guide hand off the ball to the side when we shoot, it can add unwanted spin to the ball. So we want to focus on keeping it up and shooting with our one hand. Now it's time to shoot a regular form shot. Make sure you're still using your legs and hips on your shot and that you're focusing on shooting the ball with one hand even though both hands will be touching the ball. Remember to hold your follow through and your guide hand to eliminate any unwanted spin on the ball. Let's get into our catch and shoot footwork off of a straight cut. Our footwork is going to be inside and then outside. Our inside foot means the foot closest to the hoop and our outside foot is the one furthest. Since we're on the right side going left, our inside foot is our right and our outside foot is our left. To do this drill, we're going to hold the ball in our shot pocket. Get low and hips are engaged and focus on the footwork. Even though this is a travel, we are just working on the footwork. Try to make five to 10 of these. Make sure you know your range. This means that you should know how close or far from the hoop you should be shooting to challenge you, but yet you are still able to use good form and technique and don't change your shot. After we get the footwork down, we are going to spin a pass to ourselves and work on the footwork further by going a little more game speed. This is simulating us catching a pass off of a straight cut. Focus on inside-outside footwork. Know your range and hold your follow through. Now we're going to do the same on the left side, starting with the basic hold the ball and go through the footwork. Inside outside footwork starting left and cutting right will be with our left foot and then our right foot. It is important to get all the way squared up to the hoop, especially if you're a right handed shooter on this side. Know your range, focus on your footwork and hold your follow through. Now we're adding the spin to work a little bit more game speed. Again, make sure you square up fully. You want your shooting shoulder in line with the hoop. When adding speed to this drill, it's easy to drift to the side when we jump. Really tighten your core and try to jump straight up and straight down. This will help with the accuracy of your shot. Awesome job guys, our shooting is done for the day. Grab a drink of water and then get right back in it because we have our challenge. Now it's time for our challenge. Set your timer for five minutes and spin the ball to yourself anywhere on the court going in any direction. Focus on our inside outside footwork for every shot. Know your range. If you feel like your shot is starting to change, take a step in. Last thing we want is to build muscle memory of poor shooting mechanics because we're trying to shoot from further away. Our range will continue to grow and increase the more we practice on good shooting mechanics. With that said, also continue to challenge yourself on your shot. Don't just shoot little bunny shots because you want to rack up points. Keep track of how many shots you make in 5 minutes and post your scores below. Share this link and see if your friends can beat your score. Guys, good work. Thanks for hanging out with me, okay? Hope you guys got a lot out of this. Feel free to do more reps, more shots, maybe go for makes instead of takes. 
Uh, just get that working, guys. But thanks for hanging out, all right? See you guys soon.